Azo in East Yorkshire, whose sight was permanently damaged by laser eye surgery, is calling for a change in the law. Tens of thousands of people have the treatment every year, many in high street clinics, but it isn't regulated in the same way as other surgical procedures. Here's our health correspondent, Vicky Johnson. Several times a day, Sarah Knapp has to stop what she's doing to put drops in her eyes. Laser eye surgery was supposed to help her short-sightedness. Instead, she claims it's left her with many other problems. I get shooting pains, soreness, unbearable itchiness, um, and I've actually seen an independent specialist in the last two months, and I've actually learned that they're a result of nerve damage in the right eye. We asked Optimax, which carried out Sarah's procedure, for an interview, but they declined. Instead, they gave us a statement saying that over the past 22 years, they've carried out more than 620,000 procedures. The vast majority of people have been delighted with the results. But as with an all surgery, there are risks of complications for which remedial treatment is given. Laser eye surgery is not routinely available on the NHS, and Sarah, like tens of thousands of others, was tempted by a cut price deal. But campaigners have criticised some companies for their aggressive marketing and for playing down any potential side effects. I made the biggest mistake of my life when I went to have my eyes lasered, but I trusted that the surgeon would be honest, would tell me the risks, and this is not true. The surgeons underplay the risks. The uh, high street clinics are working, the, the surgeons are working for businessmen, and it's all about profit. While all laser surgeons must be qualified doctors, they're not legally required to have any specialist qualifications, nor are they regulated by the government. I think it's disgusting that they can offer this on the high street so anybody can walk into their clinics and be offered surgery on your eyes, which are one of your most precious parts of your body, and, um, and that it's not regulated. I just, I, I actually can't believe it. Campaigners hope their experiences will now encourage the government to share their vision for better regulation of laser eye surgery. Vicky Johnson, BBC Look North, Hazel. Well, joining me on this one is Mr Milin Pandey, who is a consultant surgeon who carries out laser eye surgery in East Yorkshire. Mr Pandey, good evening to you. Good evening. Um, something's going wrong. Are, are the right people saying whether someone is suitable for the operation? I think the key to any surgery is to make sure that you're aware of what you're getting into. And it's a bit like flying a plane. If you're a good pilot, you will be able to manage to land the plane even when there's trouble. So laser surgery is a very successful procedure, but the key always is to make sure that they have, there's a proper evaluation done in order to work out whether patients are actually suitable for it or and, not. And that's not actually happening. I mean, there's, anyone can carry out this surgery. But... Any, any doctor can carry out the surgery, that's correct. And I think it's something that needs to be looked into in terms of reinforcing what the training requirements for surgeons. Are there some people doing laser eye surgery, in your opinion, who shouldn't be doing it? Uh, in my opinion, there are certain people who are doing laser eye surgery perhaps not the way it should be done because patients need to be seen by the surgeon, patients need to be able to communicate, question the surgeon, be able to trust the surgeon. And the Royal College of Ophthalmologists, of which I'm part of the Laser Eye Surgery Committee, has a qualification called the Certificate of Laser Refractive Surgery. Isn't it still too young for us to know at all if it is actually safe and works? It's quite interesting. It's been 20 years now since laser eye surgery has been around, and I've been doing it for more than 20 years now, approximately. And it has come a long way. We knew a lot more about laser eye surgery. We know which patients to operate on, which patients not to operate on. Final question, if your son or daughter was suitable for the operation, would you let them have it? Absolutely. Yes. Very good to see you. But only in good hands. Only in good hands. Thank you very much indeed. I'd like to uh, hear from you uh, on this one if you're thinking of having a laser eye treatment or maybe you've already had uh, laser eye surgery. What are your experiences? If you want to be in touch, there's uh, a reminder of the text number and also the email address. Look north at bbc.co.uk. Look forward to hearing from you. Now,